This week, Chris becomes a PI. We do a bunch of unboxings and head to Long Island. So just got to the studio and unpacked and realized my iPad is missing, which isn't good. And this is very unlike me to lose things. So I'm trying to keep calm, a little upset at myself right now. Uh, so I'm heading back to the apartment to see if it is there. Hopefully uh, Eve took it out, charged for me overnight. She's good like that. But I really hope I didn't leave it on the plane. I will be very mad at myself and will only add to a uh, kind of stressful, demanding day. So I'm trying to keep calm. I'm gonna stop and get coffee to kind of facilitate that. <laughs> Our section of Brooklyn is world famous for its graffiti. Uh, this is the Five Points Walls in Brooklyn, not Queens, which is really cool. So they had a uh, youth youth group walking around checking all the graffiti, which I just think is un so cool. And there's always car alarms in Brooklyn for no reason. So it's not at Eve's, and I just remembered this iCloud thing that I did once for a friend. And there it is. The iPad is at the lost and found at the airport in Long Island. So that's pretty cool. Um, feels good to know where it is. Apparently it's got half a battery, which I still think is pretty hilarious. And it's at an old location. This stuff's pretty awesome. So um, I put it in lost mode and hopefully um, we're gonna call the airport or someone will call me because I put my phone number on it and we'll get this bad boy back. Um, I called up the airport where they have it. They're just about to ship it back. And Joe pretty much would have had a conniption if it went to Texas to that corporate office. <laughs> True. True. So we got it back. Awesome. Well, we got to pick it up, but it's in the airport. So we're going to send Mike to go get it, right? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. breakfast on Wednesdays I like to go to Dunkin Donuts and get the guys uh, some donuts to get them through the week because um, who doesn't like free donuts on a Wednesday I also get to take the Jeep for a ride first thing in the morning which is always really nice I always enjoy getting out um, especially when it has beautiful weather like this so on the way to do that today we got some custom heads to do uh, some side projects we need to work on with head wraps and a few other companies that we're gonna be launching um, in August hopefully and uh, then we got box tonight, so uh, Wednesday's always a good day. A lot of people don't like Wednesday. I like Wednesday because it's just a good work day. And then we get to hang out after work um, and actually not work, just kind of hang out, um, work on each other's sticks, and then we head to box. So uh, Wednesdays is always a good day for us. So Chris did some uh, PI work last night and got something special back. We're very excited to see it. Oh, my new iPad? Yeah. Oh, you mean your new iPad? That looks a lot like mine. Awesome, thank you, buddy. No so, so we did some uh, iCloud expertise work and we got the iPad back and it's actually at the airport. So very, 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 very grateful to have my iPad back. Thank you, Chris, for getting it and Mike Kelly for tracking it down. It means a lot. As you know, we were in Florida, so we have a bunch of cool boxes to open. The old credit card nine? Yep. Up. Oh, it is Joe's birthday present from Rocket Pocket. How did they get it black? From styling strings? Oh boy. Yay! Yay! I know what these are for. They even put like a ball in it too, it's crazy. 
definitely cool stuff. They're going to be offering these soon and at tournaments, and they sent us some to uh, check out. So thank you, Justin and Dustin. They look absolutely awesome. We are down with the boys at Epic. They are awesome. Chris just almost killed me with a knife. Didn't work that time. Uh, are just awesome, awesome people, and uh, they're based in Minnesota, and my buddy Ryan over there is a big hockey fan like myself. Um, we both love lacrosse, but we also have a great passion for hockey. And when we were in Baltimore um, for the Final Four, we got to meet up and we were talking a bunch of hockey and he said he had some gift for me. So this show just showed up and uh, got some secrets on it, so I'm very, very excited to open it up. Ever, it's like more so than a Vetchkin. I told him I used a pretty big toe, but this is insane. So I'm gonna cut this bad boy down a bit. Um, it's a little tall. I usually like my sticks to my chin when I'm on shoes, and uh, we'll do it up. I'm gonna try and figure out the flex and stuff like that. But uh, Epic, nobody is cooler than Epic in my eyes. They just do some cool, cool stuff. Love the mat the bottom. Uh, so thank you guys, this is absolutely awesome. Can't wait to uh, play some puck with it. All right, so James from Epic just gave us a call, said he got off the subway, so we're gonna go hang out with him. Chris, how excited are you? He's a cool guy. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He's the coolest guy I've ever met from Minnesota, or that lives in Minnesota. Cause I'm pretty sure he's from Long Island. Long Island, yeah. Oh, he's the best. How's it going, sir? Good, homie. Good to see how you. How you doing, man? Good, very good. You hungry at all? Yeah, I go for snacks. Some snacks? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So Chris just informed me that he follows weight loss supplements for women on Instagram. Yeah, Shreds Women. Shreds, <laughs> at Shreds Women, because they post hot girls, right there, avocado burgers, there, but he hates it when they post the actual supplement. Yeah, and? Um, What's wrong with that? I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Follow, I can't call it. Why not? I can't call it. Why don't you just follow like hot girls and avocado sandwiches instead of like shreds weight loss? I don't know. I don't know how I found it to be honest with you. Just finished up today's videos. Um, coming to about, well, let me check, about a 13 hour day. I uh, got a lot of good stuff done though, so I think I'm gonna go play some games. I actually just got invited to the beta of Hardline, the new kind of Battlefield game. So I think I'm gonna download that, play some of the beta. Our, uh, Battlefield's betas are usually terrible. You usually get like stuck in a wall, your gun gets stuck in the floor, but. Nonetheless, uh, should be fun playing a beta, so uh, I'll probably do that for an hour or so and then go to bed. Outside, you can even hear some birds. Um, gonna be a good day. 
I uh, don't have too much to do, mostly I have meetings. I gotta finish up some design work and get it to the printer. But um, that's always fun, designing jerseys. And then we got the Long Island at Lax Fest tomorrow, so we gotta prepare for that, Chris and I. Gotta wash the Jeep, get the Jeep ready. And then tonight, even I have dinner, because um, we haven't uh, been able to see each other, because I've been doing so much. I, pretty much every weekend since Prague, I've, I've been in a different state doing something or a different tournament. So uh, tonight we're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, restaurants. I'm not gonna wake yet, but uh, I'm really excited for that. So good, good day of work, not too stressful. And then uh, it's Friday, and tomorrow we have a really fun tournament on Long Island. for that right now. <laughs> Chris is stringing a stick and I'm driving to uh, go get the Jeep washed. At least the outside, gonna be the inside uh, for this weekend's tournament on Long Island, Long Island Lax Fest, Farmingdale. Should be pretty good, it was actually our first tournament ever, right? Last year, first tournament. And uh, so this should be a good one. It's a year we've been doing these. Hopefully we learned a thing or two. Um, but yeah. really, to be efficient, but should be should be good. Always a fun time, and we don't have to drive insanely far or use a plane to get there. So uh, all in all, be a better weekend. Chris doesn't know how the car wash works. He thinks he's gonna go for a ride. He thinks it's Cedar Point. Gary Blades. Blades? Blades. Gary Blades. Plural? Blades. Like multiple blades. Multiple blades. Very nice. From Wilford, Maryland. Getting a rabble. I have this problem where I just guesstimate everything. Gu guesstimate. But not even like close. It's What's like. What's the difference between guessing and estimating and guesstimating? Not. Nah, it's pretty much all the same. It's all the same? <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure there's a difference. Good goal, good goal. Today we're at the Long Island Lax Fest. Having a great time about halfway through the day. Been stringing a bunch of sticks, met some awesome, awesome kids and some good fans. And now just taking some of the games and seeing what uh, who's doing what out here. Pretty cool. I didn't even see it. Oh my God. Absolutely amazing day. Uh, we were set up for about 12 hours at the Long Island Lax Fest. Um, got to string some really, really cool sticks. Got to see some fans. Got to see some close friends. I uh, actually got to see the uh, uh, the Blakes from Texas. They were actually up here playing, so that was really cool. Got to hang out with them. Um, and their two boys got to uh, kind of apprentice for the day and help us string sticks and hang out, which is always fun having little guests hang out with us the whole day. Um, it was just awesome. Got to meet um, some new people, got to see some old friends, um, and got to string some amazing sticks for some people that had some pretty rough sticks. Still, I think my favorite thing of tournaments, besides being outside and seeing a lot of good lacrosse, is stringing sticks for kids that just have never had a real 
pocket. It's unbelievable. The feeling I get is amazing and their reaction is unbelievable. So first off, you like, you help them out and you just like hook them up and you give them this really, really, really cool setup. And then you give it to them and they just freak out because it's so much beyond anything they've ever had and they can actually see it's like a pocket and all the colors and everything, they love it. And then I'm like, hey, do you wanna go throw? And they freak out that they we're gonna go throw. So then we go and throw with it. And that first throw that's always very awkward, they're always really unsure of themselves and the ball usually goes high or throws down um, because they're just using these terrible sticks and their throwing motion's kind of all weird. It's like jittery or they like lob the ball and it's all top hand. And uh, so then I like, you know, in the next like two passes, I start showing them throwing through and pointing the head and then they get it and they're throwing dimes to my stick and they just light up. It always puts a smile on my face and uh, reminds me of uh, the good we're doing and uh, how much fun we have. So long day, completely exhausted, but very happy. Uh, I think I'm gonna go home and do nothing. I'm really looking forward to doing nothing tonight. Amazing day at uh, City Field at the Sneaker Exchange. Even I had a really good time. Got to see a lot of culture, some amazing shoes, and just free, just a free market working, which is always entertaining. A lot of trading and stuff going on. Um, I was lucky enough to pick up one of my favorite shoes, the Jordan 5 Oreos. A uh, little beaten up, but I got them really, really cheap. So I'm gonna clean them up and just kind of, you know, have them as my new beaters. Absolutely love this shoe, so I'm excited to get a pair. That's about it. Uh, great kind of uh, culture Sunday in New York City. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Throne Chronicles. Let us know what you think of this episode in the comments below and look out for next Monday's episode when we head to the MLL All-Star Game. What's going on, Throne Army? Congratulations on making it this far. And because of that, I'm gonna give you guys a giveaway. So, like six seconds ago is a shot of my desk with the previous Throne Chronicles from last week. I want you guys to guess in the comment below what my favorite object is on that desk. First person to guess it is gonna win an awesome Throne prize pack, and I'm gonna announce it in next week's Throne Chronicles. That's everything, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll talk to you guys soon.